Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I am here waiting to teach some of my classes in the morning and I thought I would make you a video on number bonds. So the whole new math curriculum gets really super confusing for parents like myself. Um, I see so many people complaining about the new math curriculum with Common Core, Common Core Math, um, and really just not understanding how it's supposed to work. And a lot of parents are saying, well, I can't help my child with their math homework anymore because I don't understand what they're supposed to be doing, which is totally understandable. Things did change a lot. Um, and just going through the education system and working on my special education degree and all of these things, I've seen a lot of really nice ways to teach things and I've seen a lot of really not so nice way to teach things. And so I have a lot of parents who are asking about number bonds. So if you've seen something like this, you've seen a number bond. Now to somebody who went to school whenever I went to school, this probably looks something like this. H, two, O. This probably looks like how you did your chemistry homework, but <laughs> this is no longer A, chemistry problem. This is now math. So a lot of times you'll see something like this. You'll have pictures at the top and then you might have a box plus a box equals a box and then you would have your number bond like this. A lot of times your homework is going to look something along the lines of this. Now the object is that whatever is in the equals box is also what's in the big circle of the um, number bond. And so the object is that they have to count. So one, two, three, four, I see four oranges and I see two apples. So what they're going to do is they're going to find out what the whole is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I see six fruit all together. So six goes in the big box and then we see one two three four oranges so four is going in the smaller box and two is or sorry circle and two is going in the other smaller circle so we know four plus two equals six so it'll look something like this then they have to convert it into the number sentence so if you hear number sentence this is a number sentence this is a number bond they'll take the number bond and they'll put it into a number sentence. So they'll take the four oranges plus the two apples equals six. And this is how they're currently doing like a first grade-ish math. Um, there are other ways of doing math like this in other grade levels as well. But this is pretty much what you would see at maybe the beginning of the year first grade math and at a couple of different levels. So let's do something else. I'll do a second example. So we've got stars and we've got circles. So I'll do the number bond this way so we can see this example. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine all together. And I see one, two, three stars and one, two, three, four, five, six circles. So they would get three plus six equals nine. They'd have to make their number sentence. Now one other thing that's going along with these is that they have to do a reverse sentence. So they've got three plus six equals nine, but they'll also be asked to flip it around. So they'd be asked, does six plus three also equal nine? or does that get a different number? So they're learning that six plus three equals nine and three plus six equals nine, so they can flip it around. And then there's also another way of doing where they're doing basically five plus whatever equals a number. So let's say we've got the number 11 and we know that five is one of the numbers. 
we always teach our children to start at five or start at the biggest number when you're searching for this part. Start at the bigger number. So we're gonna start at five until we get to 11. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So they start with five instead of counting from one and they find that they had to add six to get 11. So that's another way um, that we're kind of teaching math now. Start with the bigger number. I mean, I think it's something that we've all done already anyways, but a lot of the times the children want to start back at one and they want to count the whole way to five. So if they're using their hands, they'll be like one, two, three, four, five, and then they'll start with the other hand. One, two, three, or six, seven, eight, you know, however. So that is how number bonds work. A lot of schools you'll see, they'll say like five, two, seven. So like this is their whole seven. Five plus two equals seven, something like that. So anyway, that's how number bonds work. I hope this has been helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.